Salutations folks! This video clip follows along with the nonverbal communication portion of our course. We just went over verbal communication, so now we are sliding right into nonverbal. I'm not going to go into detail about the chapter itself, about terminology and studies and theories, because we do have the chapter review and the PowerPoint presentation uploaded to Blackboard that you can read and follow along as you look over the chapter itself. This video is going to hit, I'm going to discuss snippets about nonverbal communication, and then really it's going to talk about the assignment because you're going to pull up the content folder for we win you pull up the content folder for nonverbal communication this week, it's going to look a little daunting because it's going to have a long list of nonverbal videos. What do I mean by this? It's a lot of clips off of YouTube that I'm supplying for the assignment, but I'm going to go into that a little bit more. This is kind of why I'm doing this video, but I'll, as always, we'll also send out an email and announcement. All right, folks, nonverbal communication. It's everything but the physical, the actual words that leave your mouth. <laughs> so this means how we present ourselves, how we, you know, handle ourselves within proximity or body language, the tone of our voice, the, you know, the pace of how we speak. All these things are reflected under nonverbal. So you can read body language and you can tell, usually tell the relationship or interest of people in a group setting, you know, if it's family and stuff, or it could be more laid back. If it's, you know, a group of friends, you can just read proximity off of one another. It also, when I say tone, think about have you ever asked someone how their day was or are they upset? They may tell you, I'm having a great day, but then it could be, yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> Please excuse my over-exaggeration of body language here, but what they're saying and what they're doing aren't matching up. The same follows through if you are asking, hey, are you okay? Yeah, I am fine. The head goes a bobbin and the tone tightens. Yeah, I'm fine. What we're getting just from tone alone is that no, you are not okay. You know, clearly something's upsetting you. Or it could be the how you physically take yourself away from a, you know, yeah, I'm fine. Again, body language and proximity. You're probably going to give space or see space given. All this falls under, you know. Um, and body language not only goes against the nonverbal, not all, it, it seems like I'm pitting it against your verbal communication. And that's not true. That's not, that's not in fact what I'm saying. It also can aid in what you're saying. So, you know, how'd you do on this? I did awesome, ah, you know, or I got the job. We have excitement, we have happiness, and it's conveyed in our physical, in our tone, in our pitch, or, you know, Congratulations, I am so happy for you. Again, we're doing a physical, you know, you're conveying, it would be different as like, oh, congratulations, I am so happy for you. You know, there's, there's two different, you, you see the differences, we'll put it that way. So, sorry, my computer just went a little. Nonverbal is so fascinating. It's so fast. if you are a people watcher, Maybe you're, or use, or was, you know, if you're in a social setting or a game or hanging out with a group of friends or even in a classroom or just like sitting, studying in the hallway and you see people walk by, or if you're in the ca a cafeteria somewhere or a food court or a restaurant, it's, just, it's fascinating to just see the nonverbal language. Because, you know, you're not always going to hear the verbal or just to see people's interactions with one another. It's, I think, nonverbal is <laughs> obviously I enjoy it so that is nonverbal in a very very quick cliff note nutshell with over exaggerated acting <laughs> thank you so really let's discuss the assignment I the assignment for this lesson is that you are to pick 
two videos. When I say videos, I have posted numerous clips of like music videos, um, lyrical dancing, interpretive dance videos, um, some aerial circus tricks, and musicals themselves. And I try to find over-exaggerated videos. I don't want to say like over-exaggerated, but like clearly there's a lot of non-verbal there with the verbal itself. You know, you watch some music videos and it's a stripped down, laid back version of like the singer in an, you know, an acoustic or just sitting there on a chair singing. But then you have songs that are grandiose productions, grand productions. And when I say grand productions, let's talk about heydays. I mean, there's, there's fabulous music videos being produced now, but think if you were, <laughs> Or no, like Michael Jackson in the 80s, his music videos were these elaborate mini movies with dancing and all kinds, like it was just this, these mini films that you watch that told a story with the song. Thriller. I mean, it's like 13, 14, 15 minutes in its full video form from beginning to end. Um hair metal bands had a lot of stories with their songs you know and it's not just like all genres have this so this assignment there's going to be like 20 some youtube videos posted of just random kind of grand over the top videos you're to only pick two so <laughs> it looks more daunting than what it actually is because I want to give you a good selection of choices from to choose from excuse me you pick two videos out of these and I say musical clips like obviously from musicals and films songs generally have chore choreography that help tell the story throughout the entire film now I chose live ones I didn't choose animated ones just so but you choose two videos out of all the long list of videos posted and you just talk about how the nonverbal like does it aid the story does it hinder the story is it telling something else than what the words are how how does the nonverbal work in this particular video and like i said you just choose two i'll also be sending an email and announcement letting you know that what you're to do but this is just in case it seemed a little confusing or daunting this little video um well excuse me for the assignment that's why i made this video so there will be a long long list and there's also going to be clips of nonverbal that aren't a part of i think i think i had harry potter one in there discuss the nonverbal within like using TV shows and movies or references. Sorry, I just could not get that out. I feel like I sat here for like a solid minute. So again, for this assignment, there's going to be numerous videos, music videos, lyrical videos, interpretive dance videos, and musical numbers themselves from films. Just pick two and discuss the nonverbal in the story. Does it aid? Does it you know, hinder, do they coincide, is the nonverbal telling something else in the verbal, you know, if you, perhaps there's like a main character in the video, just, you know, discuss how the nonverbal works in the video itself. That pretty well covers this assignment. Um, folks, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me and I hope that you are having a fabulous week and that the weather is not too crazy for you out there because winter has hit. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to sunny, sunny days. Thank you all so much. Bye.